You call that a laptop? This is a laptop. Look how, look how big it is. If this gadget was a car, it would be one of those concept cars that is released at a motor show and then filed away, never to be seen again. And here is why. Somehow, the magicians at Acer managed to take a top-of-the-line gaming rig and squeeze it inside a tiny, at least when it comes to gaming laptops, little shell that looks great and performs pretty well. But is it worth the wallet-busting 12,000 dirham price tag? Let's take a look. Some people might ask why this is even exists. It probably has something to do with a similar Asus laptop that was announced a few months ago. These days, Acer and Asus are like conjoined twins when it comes to product launches, and the Predator is absolutely no different. The first thing that stands out is the laptop's size. At just 18.5 millimeters thick, it's quite bulky, but while it does seem quite bulky at first, it's not that far away from a MacBook Pro, which is a 15.5 millimeters. It manages this high-tech trickery by moving many of the internal elements around to weird effect. The trackpad actually sits directly below the screen on top of a piece of glass that sits above the NVIDIA GTX graphics card. The keyboard has also been moved, now it's sitting flush with the bottom of the keyboard. In practice, it's a bit weird to use, and it is most certainly a laptop that was built with a mouse in mind. From a display standpoint, it rocks a 15.6-inch IPS LCD panel with a 1080p resolution. It does the job, but we'd rather it had a 4K screen. While color and contrast are very good, it doesn't have the extreme vividness of a true gaming panel. Ultimately, this is a great high-end performance, low-bulk gaming laptop. It packs great gaming performance with a good keyboard and a solid screen. However, that screen is just 1080p, and the trackpad is absolutely useless. So. Future Predator owners beware, if you do pick up this laptop, be sure you also pay for a mouse. Well that has been another episode of Tech Talk. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and let us know what you thought of this Predator gaming laptop in the comments below. See you soon.